Welcome back to Catch Score Play Zero Escape Virtues Less Reward. My name is Kevandre. Last time we got to a to be continued part when we went into the director's office and could not remember the password and uh, username. Uh, I tried Memento Mori, that did not work. Um, so that's interesting. And I explained kind of how um, this game works a lot of the time with the timelines. Um, it, think 999, but on a much larger scale. Um, Everybody's dead, except for, uh, we believe Quark is still alive, and then uh, Phi and Sigma. But we found Temyoji and Clover and Dio and K all uh, not doing too hot. So, by that I mean they were they were dead. Uh, so yeah, now we're going to jump onto a different part of the timeline. So, we were on this leftmost path here. Um... That is a very slow scroll. So yeah, we're blocked off from going this way. Because we need to do a different ending before we can continue on this one. So let's go back here. And we're going to... We're going to betray Luna, and I don't want to do that. But it's what we should do. Because we got to see everything, right? 30 seconds remain until polling closes. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I guess there isn't really any question. After all, I promised Luna I'd pick Ally. But what if she was lying to me? I would have chosen Ally regardless. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent, and I... I trust him. 10 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I hate it. Round 2 of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex Games gates now opening. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Sigma, why? You, you promised. How could you? Why won't you say something? At least give me an excuse. Say, say you wanted to break everybody or you slipped and hit the wrong button. Anything. I don't care if it's a lie. Just, just say something. I, I can't trust you anymore, can I? I see. All right, then. You did it so that you could get more points, da? I wanted to say no, but I couldn't. She was right. I shut my eyes and turned away. I trusted you. Goodbye. Luna's face twisted as she spun away, but not before I saw tears glistening in the corners of her eyes. My heart sank into my stomach like a lump of lead. Mine too. I had lost something very precious. Like they say, trust takes years to build, but only a second to break. If only I could take that second back, but that was impossible. Life only moves in one direction, and you only get to make your choices once. The past is the past, and it stays there. Or does it? Hey! Where do you think you're going? 
Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna go look for Cork. Hey, wait! Clover yelled after him, and Ten Miyoji ignored her and continued toward the magenta door. She glared at his receding back and muttered something under her breath. Something must have happened between them. Ten Miyoji, you're going to go look for Quark, da? Yeah, so? I want to help. No, thanks. But really? Nah, much as I'd like to say that, I need all the help I can get. Think you can give me a hand? Of course. Let's go. They headed off through the magenta door together. Clover was left standing by herself, brows furrowed, and head down, deep in thought. Then suddenly she stood up straight and took off through the cyan door. I turned and saw that only Phi and Kay were left. Where's Dio? He went off toward the yellow door while you and Luna were talking. He just walked out? Yes. He did check the results before he left. I bet he wasn't very happy. If I had chosen Betray, he'd be sitting pretty with 9 BP right now. I imagine he would. Fortunately, Phi is much too clever for that. That was why I chose Ally. It was an easy decision. But if you'd betrayed her, then you'd have been able to get out of here. Perhaps. But I made a promise to Phi. A promise, huh? Were you really sure Kay wouldn't betray you? Of course not. I'm not an idiot. I didn't really have a choice, though. The only option was to trust him. That's so. Yeah. Don't you think that's important? Trusting someone, I mean. Alright, we should go and look for Corp, too. Indeed. Oh, indeed. Best be split up, something or other. We did say... What? We did say... Oh, yes. Best we split up, wouldn't you say? I was going to say, what the fuck? We did say, and each of us left for a different area of the facility. I took the magenta door, Phi went into the yellow door, and Kay took the cyan door. Many a robot. But no matter how hard I looked, Quark was nowhere to be found. Eventually, I decided to head back to the warehouse. T Ten Miyoji? What's going on? You, you found Quark? Wouldn't be here if I hadn't. Where was he? Like, I'm gonna tell you that. What? Did I do something wrong? You broke your promise to Luna. I don't like people who break promises. There was no rebuttal for that. Well, I'm glad you found him. Heh. <laughs> you got some balls saying that, acting like you give a shit about him. Is... is he okay? He looks tired. He's just sleeping. Seems somebody shot him up with some kind of anesthetic. Someone? Who? Hell if I know. And honestly, I don't really care anymore. Why not? Quark's safe. Now all I have to do is get him out of here and this'll be all over. Wait. You make it sound like you can get out right now. I can. Well, he can. How? Didn't you see the results? Quark's BP is... Nine. Exactly. So you're gonna have to... You're gonna have him pull the lever and open the number nine door? Yeah. Of course, he's going to need my help to do that. But, but, what about you? You've only got 4 BP. Even if you can get the door open, you'll... 3. Now maybe some of you are thinking. You're thinking, oh ho! If my BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door, and I'll just slip through when it's open. Well, that's not going to happen. If you think you can be sneaky, well... Think I don't know that. It doesn't matter, though. 
So long as Quark is safe, then I... My guard was down. I barely even saw him move. It wasn't until pain exploded in my stomach that I realized Tenmyoji had kicked me. <laughs> I let out a strange sort of wheeze and collapsed to the floor. Blinking against the pain, I managed to find Tenmyoji again. He'd maneuvered Quark up to the number 9 door. <laughs> S stop Tenmyoji! Moving made me wretch, and before I could recover and call out again, he'd done it. Tenmyoji's hand pressed Quark's against the lever. He looked back at me over his shoulder. Number nine? Number nine? Sorry. Door is almost open, so it's time I was on my way. Tenmyoji, don't... Don't be an idiot. If you go through there, you'll... Believe me, I know. But I gotta stay with him as long as I can. Couldn't live with myself if I tossed him out there unconscious, you know? Then stay here. Can't do that. Why not? There's a killer here. It's too dangerous. I can't take that risk with Quark's life. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. See ya. Tenmyoji, wait! Don't do this! Tenmyoji! Tenmyoji! The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. That was how it ended. Had Ten Myoji died? Had Quark escaped? I didn't know. I laid my head gently against my aching stomach and stared up at the ceiling. Faint, approaching footsteps echoed through the warehouse. One of them was a killer. Whatever. It didn't matter anymore. I was never going to see the outside world again. Perhaps it would be better if I just let them kill me. I lay back and closed my eyes. So there's one bad ending. Hey, achievements. That wasn't supposed to happen, and every ending begins somewhere. Fine, how do you do? But it's not one of the good endings, or, well, quote-unquote good endings, but... See? There's that. So now we get to go and betray Luna again. Man, do I feel like a shitbag. Let's go. Oh, no! We get to pick the other door. Got it. So skip... Uh, let's see. Do we want to go through the blue door with K or through the red door with Clover? Um, yeah, red door seems fine. Alice and I will take Clover and go through the red door. No. I cannot allow you to do that. God damn it, K. We don't have time for this. Choose a different door. Please. He stood in front of the red door, solid and immovable in his metal armor. I didn't think I could force my way past him, and I knew I didn't have time to try. Shit. Two doors left for me to choose from, but which one? I guess blue door with K. Alice, K, the blue door. Uh, right. We should hurry. It's been a while since I did Alice's voice. We took off toward the door to run. I glanced back over my shoulder to see the others heading into their respective doors. Phi, Dio, and Clover were headed toward the green door, while Ten Myoji carried Quark through the red door, followed by Luna. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Boop. 
boop, boop. Wait, three doors? It appears they're all locked. Is this a dead end? What's that thing over there? It looks like that thing that's next to the number nine door. Does that lever move? Only one way to find out. To the rec room. We've seen this place before. Time for some spritzy spritzy. Well, that was easy enough. It only opened the door on the right, though. Then we are likely meant to go there. How do we get the other doors to open? I have no idea. There does not seem to be any other mechanisms which might cause them to unlock. I don't think that's something we should be worrying about right now. We have a door that's open. We should go through it. You are correct. There is little to be achieved by remaining here. Forward it is, then. Or right, I guess. What is this place? The rec room, apparently. Oh, you didn't see it? There was a plate on the door. It said rec room, as I recall. Short for recreation, one might assume. How ironic. I doubt recreation is foremost on any of our minds right now. Okay, the pools and darts I get, but... What's with all the suits of armor? Seems kind of weird. If you think the armor's weird, check that thing out. She points at Kay. Is that a ride? Yeah. I see them in front of grocery stores all the time. You put a coin in and it kind of rocks around. You must have gone on one at least once when you were a kid. I have no memory of doing so, but it is possible. Does this thing mean that we were kid that there were kids here at some point? No, I don't think so. I'd guess it's part of someone's collection. That seems an exceedingly odd thing to collect. So this place has a lounge, some sleeping quarters, and now this rec room. It's like we're on some kind of luxury cruise liner. No, that's the last game. Now that you mention it, it does seem to give the impression that people are supposed to stay here for an extended period of time. They would have a small but well-stocked infirmary. Uh, they have a small but well-stocked infirmary. Anyone here would be able to trade at least minor entities and illnesses. So you think this room is to help people keep from going out of their minds with boredom? Yes. Relaxation is an important in an isolated environment. Man, I cannot talk today. Everything anybody needs to live without leaving. I guess they're planning to keep us here for a while, huh? Well, that's not happening. I agree. Let's just find these moon card things and get out of here. Ah, there's a door over there. No good. Won't open. Looks like it's locked up tight. In other words, the moon cards must be in this room somewhere. Right then, let's find them. Do, 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 do. Alright, what do we got here? Pool table. A pool table, huh? It looks as though a piece of the felt has been torn off. Yeah, I know. The ball retrieval slot. Yeah, that's where the balls go into the corners come out. Yes. Retrieve my balls, Alice. Uh, that's a dartboard. An automatic scoreboard, huh? Nice. If we had some darts, we could play a game or two. Dartboard. If we had some darts, we could get a game going. Does this explain how darts works? Apparently. I wonder if these are instructions for the dartboard scoreboard here. Are these the rules darts normally uses? I have no idea. Isn't darts just a way to flirt with girls? I guess some people use it that way, but darts is a legitimate and dignified indoor sport for gentlemen. What, where you compete to see how many girls you can get? What the hell happened to you? Yoink. Some spritzy spritzy. Looks like these are all the same thing. 
Do you think we're supposed to pick the right bottles or something? I hope not. They all look exactly alike to me. Then just take whichever one you want. This says Spritzy Spritzy. Then it must be Spritzy Spritzy Spray. It reacts with certain things, such as blood, and glows with a, vein, a very faint bluish-white light. It's often used in forensic investigations. Huh. What are we supposed to do with it? Maybe you could spray it on the pool table? The pool table? Why? When I was examining it earlier, I noticed a few areas where it looked like something had been wiped off. If it was blood... Yoink. Huh. I wonder why this felt is damp. Presumably because it had been soaked in something. Perhaps Prissy's Prissy. What's this? Balls. Are those pool balls? They look rather odd, though. Aren't pool balls usually painted a variety of colors? These appear to be all be white, although they are numbered. Hmm. Well, might as well try using them with the table. Ah, looking at your piece of felt, I see. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to fit it in this bare spot on the pool table. And there. It looks as though that scrap fit. Uh, and then she said to spray the table with a spritzy spritzy. Hmm, now to spray this table with spritzy spritzy. Okay. Uh, light switch. Almost playing one-handed to keep the cup handy for Kay's voice. Hmm. There are six letters on the table. Yeah, it looks like they were written in something that reacted with the spritzy spritzy. Then they appear to be the, edit, the letters A through F. No pattern that I can see, though. Pool table seems like a natural place to use pool balls. No, it's too dark. Don't know what would happen to them. Better turn the lights back on before I get my balls out. That's a great thing to say, Sigma. Okay, so that's top right, top left. Or, sorry, top right, bottom left, top left, middle right, bottom right, middle left. I'm just going to take a fucking picture so I don't forget. And look a fool. Please excuse me. That's selfie mode, you fucking ass. Cool. Alright, what am I supposed to do with these white balls? Maybe you need to drop them into the pockets on the pool table? Specific balls must go in specific pockets. For instance, ball A would need to go into pocket A and so forth. Press the A button to grab a ball, then drag the ball to the desired pocket and release it to, the, to drop it. Selecting the yellow triangle will allow you to switch which ball group is displayed, either 1 through 8 or 9 through 15. Alright, let's give this a try. I don't think I have enough information yet, then. Because that seems like a lot more than I was thinking. Uh... Yeah, I think I need numbers. Damn, no good. I don't get it. I only dropped one ball in, but I don't get it. Oh. What's this supposed to be a picture of? There are those balls from that kid's show, right? If you collect seven of them, you get a wish? But there's more than twice that here. Oh, then it's a set of billiard balls. Then? Look, I think it's probably a hint. Just grab it and bring it with you. Oh, okay, so the colors. Show me the archive, the billiards poster. I'll take a picture of that, too. I see. It's a combination of those two different things that we got. Take a picture of that, too. Alrighty, then. Let's do the balls. Right, different colors. Okay. So... One is a yellow that should go into B, right? And B was bottom left. 
Heck. Uh, okay. So A is a circle, a purple circle. I see what's happening. So four, and then yellow circle one, and then C is striped orange 13, and C was in the top left. D is a circle, which is 2, and D is on the right middle. E is a green circle, 6, and F is a striped yellow, 9. Right? Yeah! Look how good I am. Whew! Ha! <laughs> that was easy. It looks like something came out of the ball retrieval slot. You see? Down there. What is this? Some sort of container, huh? There's something inside. Why don't you take it out? Sounds good! I'll just hang on to this then. Dark tips. Are those chili peppers? Yes, I believe they're a variety known as the Hawk's Claw. Alice, please try some. I'm not eating that. I don't care what kind of claw it is. Except White Claw. Are you even looking at them? These are obviously dart tips. I don't know, I'm just not seeing it. They look like peppers to me. Do you know what soft darts are? They use plastic tips instead of metal ones. Lamau. Uh, okay, there's a... <laughs> that face. My god! This deer must have phased halfway through the wall and gotten stuck. How horrific! That's just a mounted head. It's a decoration. Ah, I did think it had extraordinarily long legs. You're adorable, Kay. Oh, how nostalgic! This is a jukebox. It plays an old form of music media known as a record. With the push of a few buttons, you can listen to your favorite songs. Looks like it's not plugged in. There's an outlet over there, but I don't think the cable's long enough. It won't reach? Doesn't look like it. Guess we can't use the jukebox right now. But I am a jukebox hero. Let's see. An outlet. Where does this go? To this thing? It's one of those rides like you see in front of the grocery store. It looks like Zero Junior. I get the feeling someone's laughing at us. I don't like it. It looks like this extension cord is plugged into the ride, but I'm not sure why. What do you mean? It's probably there so that the ride can get power. That's not what I mean. There's way too much slack. Doesn't look like the ride's power cable... Doesn't it look like the ride's power cable is long enough to, without the extension cord? Then let's take the extension cable with us. Don't forget to plug the ride back into the outlet. Yeah, yeah. Rude. Hmm. If I connected this extension cord to the power cable, then plug it into the outlet... Nothing happens when I push a button. Why don't you hit it? A little damage might make it more flexible. What the hell kind of logic is that? If being locked means it's working correctly, then it's not working correctly, it won't be locked. Nope. If we break it completely, then we're boned. What an astute observation. Huh? Why won't it open? There's something in there, but we can't take it out if we can't open it. a round indentation inside this frame. Perhaps something round goes in it? No, motherfucker. No, okay. I see. I'm supposed to take records out of the record player. I thought those were coins in there. Uh, let's see. Anything else going on here? I don't have coins for this ride either. 
It looks like this box is connected to the ride somehow, but why? I can't say for sure, but don't, off, don't rides often require payment in order to run? Yeah, but I don't see anywhere to stick a coin in. Have you looked closely at the lion? There seems to be a slot in his mouth. I don't have coins yet. So, what else do we got? I already got this pretty spritzy. You don't have darts yet. Let's take a look at these knights. There's a triangle in the middle of the circular, circular button. I'm going to push it. The suit of armor swung the weapon it was holding at the other suit shield. This guy's holding something. A pool cue, hooray. Oh, a pool cue. Why was a suit of armor holding a pool cue? Perhaps it is not an ordinary cue. The butt end is a little weird. It's got a hexagonal hole at the tip. Same. <laughs> Not combine those items. Well, fine. Be that way. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Is this guy holding a shield with glass on it? Hey, doesn't it look like there's something under the glass? Yeah, hard to tell what it is from here, though. And we can't get up, get to it as long as it's covered in glass. Thank you. Nice trident. Guess I'll give him the weapon I've got in exchange for whatever he's holding. This is for catching fish, right? Originally, yes. I believe this is a slightly modified version, though. It is known as a trident. And push. Come on and slam. The suit of armor swung the weapon it was holding at the other suit shield. No, I didn't mean it. Skip, skip. I know. Perhaps the pool cue? No. Were you planning to give the suit of armor the pool cue? I don't think that would be appropriate. That cue stick is meant for more important things. Perhaps you should hold on to it for now. I guess I'll just take the weapon it's holding, then. Okay. So maybe I should take this axe and then give him the axe. And then press play? Or maybe the trident. Ah, oh, that worked. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm getting so confused with the cup or not the cup. The shield. The glass is broken. You know, like, we can get at the thing that's on the shield now, right? Yeah, let's grab it. Allen wrench. An Allen wrench. You know what this is, right? It's like a screwdriver, kind of. It just uses special hexagonal holes. Key with a circular tip. This is the part of the cue stick that we removed from the Allen wrench. Yeah. I can't get the wrench back out, though. Perhaps the wrench is part of it now? If it is, that makes things easier for us. How so? Well, look at it. Doesn't this look like a tubular key? Totally tubular, bro. I think we can use this to open the lock. Which lock? This lock. Oh, okay. Alright, this tool I've got here should fit the key hole here. It took a bit of work to make, but yes. The tip does look remarkably similar. Okay, here we go. It opened. Then let us take a look inside. Yo, give me those coins, bitch. Lion's about to eat the sun. You know, I was all excited about finally being rich after we found these in here, but they don't look right. I agree. The markings are strange. I have a feeling they only work on this ride. That seems likely. In any event, we may as well take a few of them. Cool. Oh, were you planning to put a coin in there? Yeah, 
I figure if I put a coin in here, then maybe it'll start up, right? Hmm. Okay. I'll just drop a coin in and... Okay? <laughs> Why the hell are you riding it? <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> I... I can't watch this. There is no god. Hey! Sigma! Alice! He's... He's waving at us now. Alice, what's going on? I'm scared. I'm not watching. This isn't happening. Everything is fine. Huh? What was that? It seems to have taken a picture! Hey! <laughs> I love it when his eyes do that uh, triangular thing. Uh, that was delightful. Now, where is that photograph? Ah, oh, there we are. Excellent. I give this to you as a memento of our time together, Sigma. Uh, I, I don't really... Just holding it makes me feel wrong. <laughs> now, now, that's hardly necessary. <laughs> He's so cute. Well, well. That's a handsome fellow there, isn't it? I would have very much liked to give these out to others, but it seems I can't print anymore. Terribly disappointing. Oh, wait, there's something written on the back. Z9D1. I wonder what that means. Z9D1. Oh, I have coins for the jukebox. And, okay, Z9 and D1, got it. Okay, now to point a coin in here. Hey... The button's lit up. Guess it's on now. So, Z, 9. There's a gold record sitting in the jukebox. You like? Hey, it looks like somebody's gone gold. I don't think it's actually gold. And D1. There's a gold record sitting on the jukebox. A gold colored record. That was my favorite record! Okay, so then we got these boys. There we go, looks good. There we go, looks good. And now that second one enters. Got it. Huh? Did you hear something? Look! The light on the frames in the window is middle green. The lights on the frame in the window is middle green now? I think I might be having a stroke. Oh yeah, so it is. I'm guessing that means it might have unlocked. Give me those darts, bitch. What's this thing? It's a box with darts in it, isn't it? Combine. Yeah. Biatch. Now that we've taken the dart shafts out of here, we don't really need this case anymore, do we? Not for holding darts, no, but it's got some markings on it. You're right. Look here. It's got three images of darts and targets. One's red, one's blue, and one's green. It says score 91. I wonder what that means. Score 91, okay. And then we got Darts Buster. Score 120. So I need to score 91 and I need to score 120 to get the two different things. Sounds good. A dartboard. If we had some darts, we're going to get a game going. Get a score of 91 with three darts. Keep in mind, however, that the score for each area must have a specific relationship to the other scores. What does that mean? Toss a dart into each area to reach the correct point value. Throw a dart at that particular area, grab it by a, pressing the A button, and then release the dart on the area where you'd like it to land. Okay, so this is the one, two, three times, right? 
So it said ninety one. Yeah. So I'll definitely need an 11 to get to 91. I can get 60 here. 60 plus 11. Oh. No. Let's see. I probably didn't need an 11. I'm gonna have to do math. I'm gonna, let me grab some bevy first because I've been talking a lot. So can I get 80 points with what I have here? I mean, I guess I could probably do 40 twice. Maybe. Uh, okay, maybe that doesn't work. So, maybe I can't do the same one twice. So, 11. Seventeen plus thirteen is thirty. I can't get eighty here. So maybe I start with 21 instead of 11. Um, I get need to get to 91. So I need 70. Um, Sorry, I'm not very good with math, so I'm going to pull up a calculator. So if I've got 21, that means I need to get 70 more points. Just trying out combinations. I know this is terribly bad. Um, and 40. Right? Yay, it's green! Oh! Oh, thank god. I am not going for the file thing. Unless that's 120. Which should also be reasonably easy, right? Good work. Looks like you got it. Well done, Sigma. Look, the screen has changed. Star, star, sun. Is this a password? Oh, well done. This must be for the safe. You did it. Okay, let's go open that before I forget. A safe. It looks like the one I found in the last room. Putting in a password should open it up, assuming it does work the same. Piece of cake. Now, shall we collect our spoils? First, a map. It says floor B. The one I found in the lounge said floor A. Then that must mean that floor A is the top floor. We rode the elevator down to get to this floor, after all. Yep, yeah, makes sense. Okay, moving on. Next, we've got, uh,. Some key cards. They have an image of the moon on them. That must mean that these are what the announcer was talking about. 
The moon keys? We've got two of them, just like the sun keys. All right, Kay, you take one. Why? You're a solo. Alice and I will take the other one. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. And the last prize. Let's see here. A key. This must be for the exit. Now we can leave. What are we waiting for, then? All right, I just... I don't... Get a score of 93, 91. But does it mean 91? Does it actually want 120? So if I do... 100... And then... 7... And... 13... Oh, maybe it doesn't want that. Nope, I don't care. I've already solved the dark puzzle, but I can't shake the feeling there might be another solution. We're not even looking at the files anyway. I don't, why, do I, why do I give a fuck? Let's leave. This is the log for the exit. It says lock right now. Time to kiss this weird-ass room goodbye. I actually had a rather nice time. Whatever. I'd rather forget any of this ever happened. Three, two, one. Let's jam. ba da ba da ba da ba da da Fuck, I'm bad at math. Jesus Christ. It's like, oh yeah, what's 17 times 3? Uh, wipe, wipe, wipe? Whip out the calculator. <sighs> Interesting. What is this place? A warehouse? Hey, look over there. Those doors are white. Not as white as you, idiot. Shall we have a look, then? Are these chromatic doors, too? They're all the same, though. Well, this one's locked. This one won't open, either. No luck here. It looks like they have the same locking mechanism as the other chromatic doors. So mm -hmm. these will be the next doors to open. We should go let the others know. Right. Alice and I turned to go, but Kay stayed put. Is something wrong? No. I just feel as if I've seen this warehouse before. Wait, you've been here before? I don't know. Perhaps I have been I haven't been here, only somewhere very similar. You mean the floor A warehouse? Perhaps. An Ambidex gate has been opened. Forty five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What the hell? Someone else must have opened one of the AB gates. Before we got back? I imagine they don't care what happens to the rest of us. That would be the most logical explanation. In any event, we should return quickly. Yeah, let's get going, guys. Gatorade. H2O. Sigma. Where's Ten Miyogi's team? Are they not back yet? Nope. 
We were here first. Then wait a little longer before you open the AB gate. It wasn't us. I tried to stop him, but... Come on. It's not like when we open the door it really affects the matches, right? It's cool. No, it's not cool. Your team returned quite early, Dio. Did your investigation go smoothly? I guess. Which room did you guys go to? The treatment center. Treatment center? How is that different from the infirmary? They were these pod things. Look, just go see for yourself, alright? I don't feel like explaining it. You took something from the treatment center, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? You did. Nope. You did. I saw it too. After we opened the safe, you grabbed something out of it and put it in your pocket. Show us what you took. Ah! Get away from me! Clover shoved her hand into Dio's pocket and began to dig around. It should be in this one. Let go! Before Dio could push her away, Clover found what she was looking for. I knew it! An injection gun. The label on the vial says Neostigmine. What's this stuff for? I don't know, but I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Give it back. I found it, so it's mine. Hey. With a desperate lunge, Dio managed to grab the gun back from Clover. But before she had a chance to protest... <laughs> Have any of you seen Cork? Anyone, please? Cork? Did something happen to him? We found the pantry on the other side of the red door, but... After we left, he just disappeared. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. You think he's lost? Don't you think you've been a little too optimistic there? What? Come on, that little jerk's probably dead by now. We've already found one corpse, right? What the hell is wrong with you? How could you? Why would you say such a horrible thing? Whoa, simmer down there, just saying it's a possibility. Well, even if it is, we should all be looking for him. Yes! As we began to file out, I saw Alice staring intently into the corner of the warehouse. It seemed strange, but looking for Cork was my priority. I turned and headed toward the magenta door. The lounge! Wow. Okay, I'm going to call it here, because I don't think that I can talk much more. Um, <laughs> doing this by myself is certainly uh, draining a little bit. I'm still having fun with it, but I'm getting voices confused and all that kind of stuff, so I need to quit it while I'm, while I'm ahead, and also it's like at an hour anyway here, so we're good. Um, so yeah, that's it for this episode. That was a, a fine foray into the rec room. Uh, with some spritzy spritzy and darts. Um, if any of you who have been watching this have not watched the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney playthrough, that's where we coined Luminol as spritzy spritzy, so if you're very confused, I'm sorry, but you should go watch Phoenix Wright because it's one of our best series too. Um, anyway, so yeah, next time we will continue along this different path than we were on before, so should be fun. Uh, I'm going to do a shout out to the voice of Ten Miyoji, who is Dave B. Mitchell. Um, now, I had not really looked him up before, but um, obviously I've played VLR a few times before now, um, and I think he does a, a pretty good job at, at you know the kind of old man voice. What I did not know until today, when I was looking up his name to do a shout out to him, was that he's also the voice of Alois in uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, which was surprising. I wouldn't have combined those two voices together maybe one day uh, at the end of this when i turn the voices back on that'll be a completely different kind of i'll be like oh that's definitely aloise who knows i didn't think so though um so yeah that that alone is pretty good 
but he's in a bunch of other stuff. Usually stuff that I haven't seen, but that's just par for the course these days. Um, but yeah, so it was a it was a good episode. So it was kind of a double length one too. So fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, see you guys next time when we're looking for Cork again. Bye bye.